but I'm also here for other young ladies and women my age that may be harassed. It's so so pitiful. You messing with a woman that's a grandmother and a great grandmother. Just horrible. I think about it all the time. I can still see him standing in front of me and saying these horrible things to me. That LSU hides a lot of things. A whole lot of things that's going on at that, on that, on that camp. The news in you. North, east, west, south, unite from every alley in Cali intersection and back street. Ex-Washington Redskins running back Darius Geis has been accused of sexual harassment on a 74-year-old woman. The harassment took place in 2017 while the woman, Gloria Scott, was doing security at the Superdome. And that was during the time that Darius played for LSU. During that time, she let the school know, but nothing was done to their superstar athlete about the accusations. In 2018, Doris was a second round draft pick to the Washington Redskins. He spent two seasons in the NFL and was cut last August. And the reason he was cut, he had charges of strangulation, assault, battery, and destruction of property in three alleged domestic violence incidents. He was also accused of sexual assault three times when he went to LSU, but his attorney denied all the accusations. Gloria Scott talked about the 2017 incident on USA Today, and she was very, very emotional about it, even brought her to tears. She said during the time she was doing security in 2017 at a high school football game, Doris approached her and said, I like to F older women like you, and began to rub on his body and his genitals with the smile on his face. As of now, LSU is under investigation for all the sexual misconduct cases against that school and those sports organizations. It's pretty sickening, family, for somebody to sexual harass another person because of your status. And that's basically what he did. He was getting away with it for so long, he figured, hey, I'll keep doing it. So he continued to do it. During the time he did it to Gloria Scott, she was 70 years old. Wow. He's very abusive to women. He's terrible in the society. And it just don't make sense for him to be that kind of person towards people. That was somebody's grandmother, somebody's sister, somebody's mother. Would you like somebody to do that to your mother or your grandmother or your sister? You probably wouldn't. The average person that violates other people would be totally upset if you violate their people. So why would you do it? You know the slogan, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. But you shouldn't do it. But like I say, 2020 was the year of vision. 2021 is the year of revealing and everybody's getting revealed. Everybody's getting called out on their bullshit. People that think they got away with something, they're not getting away with it. Because as we see it in this 2021, right out the gate, people have been getting exposed from your TIs, your rappers, to your football players, to your actors. And that's not even to speak about regular unknown people. These are people that are in the limelight. That's just a few to say. You know, what about all the cases we don't hear about? And this stuff is, it's getting, hey, hey, it's revealing time. Everybody gonna be called out on their BS. Everything we thought we was getting away with is coming to the light. And now the people are, are seeing that they get justice, even after it's been a long time. You see in the Bill Cosby case, it was 20 odd years later. And those people still got justice. And that's neither here nor there for me because I wasn't there. I don't know if you're innocent or if you're guilty. Same with 
Darius Geis. I don't know if he's innocent or guilty, but I know that they are bringing up charges on him. And then you have a track record. See, your track record speaks a lot for you. This is not his first time being accused. If it looked like a dog and bark like a dog, it probably is one. But yeah, family, we have to be safe out here. And we have to not be afraid to expose people. It doesn't matter who they are or what their status is. If somebody violates you, they need it need to be brought to the forefront when people violate you. Because that's something you're going to have to live with. When somebody violates you, you're going to suffer for it for all these years. People suffer from people violating them, especially sexually, for 20, 30 years, even longer. Some of them go to the grave being violated by family members, by people at your job, you know, public arenas, you know, community contact. Think about all the people that get sexually harassed on their jobs by their boss, but they're afraid of losing their job. I'm pretty sure that happens every day. It's a blessing that people get to see that people can come out on these big names. So therefore, you can say, well, hey, I've come out on my supervisor that's been sexually harassing me for all these years. Or if I just started a job and they sexually harassing me. You get to come out on these people and expose them for the scum that they are. And they have to be. Because it's not fair to violate nobody. You shouldn't violate people. They have that right to be able to go do their job without being harassed by another person. We all have that right. It happens to men, it happens to women, but we all have that right to not to be harassed and threatened of losing our job. So therefore we don't report it. No, it needs to be reported. Just like in Darius Geis case, even though she reported it four years later, but she did report it, and she also said she was reporting it so that it doesn't happen to anyone else, which is, that's good. Because sometimes the one who get the, the blunt end of it, but it's not for you, it's for somebody else. Something happened to me, it was, it, yeah, it happened to me and it was bad, but it helped somebody else. And by bringing it to the forefront, it can help other women. And for Darius Geis, that's what happens when the dirt meets the road. And with that, I'm going to say, this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Unite from every alley in Cali, intersection in Back Street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door.